Hey YouTube, Sam here, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to create a 1.2.4 bucket server for Minecraft. Um, so this is quite simple. Um, all you have to do first is make sure you've got WinRAR, which most people already do, um, and obviously Minecraft. So after you've downloaded the bucket server from the link in the description, um, just open it up. Um, you want to extract this folder to your desktop or wherever you want the server to be that's the main file um, and then these two files you don't extract you don't need to extract them but you need to find out what bit you are so you press the start button you go to computer right mouse click on it properties okay um, and then it says 64 bit operating system or it will say 32 bit operating system if you're on windows xp what you need to do is click start open up computer and then right mouse click on your main hard drive and then do properties and it'll come up to a list here but it's window I've got Windows 7 so you can't see it. So you can close that down. So I've got Java 64 bit so I click on that. Then I click on this. Then it has to extract it into its RAM. Um, that doesn't matter it still works. And then you press yes you've got to install this version of Java. Um, even though Minecraft runs on Java, this is a different version of Java, so make sure you download that. Um, so once you've downloaded, oh, sorry, once you've installed your Java and extracted bucket server, you open the file, file folder that you previously extracted called bucket server, put it up here, um, simply click the start 1.2.4 and it does all this stuff, makes all these things um, and then you can go onto Minecraft okay then um, just wait for this to finish yeah. okay that's finished um, okay and then you want to click on multiplayer when it comes up there. then t uh, click on add server um, you can name that whatever you want so I'll just leave it for now so I've been local host like that um, I just went okay uh, then just press done go to the very bottom of your list if you've got loads and it should be here so you can join it then and I'm in the server um, you have to opt yourself in the server but I do it to do that you go back onto this and then type in op and then your name on minecraft so that's mine and it will say you're now op um, if say you've got other people around your house and they play Minecraft with you, you start up your server. Um, how you find out how they join you is you go onto the start button, you search CMD on Windows XP, you uh, do run then CMD, type in CMD. Then when this black box comes up, you type in IP CON FIG. Enter. Comes up with all this, go to the top of the list. It says IPv4 address, follow the dots across to one nine the my one that people use to join on a different computer is one nine two point one six eight point one uh point one point six five. So I type that in a Minecraft. So one nine two point one six eight point one point six six five was it? Um, that's what you type in on the other person's computer, but yeah, and then you press done, go to it, press join server, and you're in the server again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can just change your game mode and stuff. And then you can fly around. And yeah, I hope you guys have loads of fun with that. Um, there's already some uh, some plugins in there. Uh, for instance, World Edit, so you can do some stuff like that. Um, there's loads of videos on YouTube 
how you can use it. Um, but simple thing uh, like this. Um, I'm gonna like delete this mountain like so. You do full slots to delete stuff. You do set or you do set whatever block you want it to be called. So that pretty simple. And hope you guys have lots of fun. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and bye.